All right, to get started on the Saints Go Marching In project, I've logged into Soundtrap and I'm scrolling down to my projects. And currently I don't have any projects in there. I'm going to hit Enter Studio. And it's going to allow me to make a new project. When I open that up, I'm going to go into the Music option. If this is your first time going into Soundtrap, it might give you some tutorial videos. You can just close those up. And I'm going to start with the Add New Track. Bring my cursor up there. Uh, I'm going to start with the pianos and keyboards, so I'm just going to start with a basic piano sound. Okay, and down at the bottom, here's my keyboard. And so I can access all of these notes by typing on my QWERTY keyboard or my typing keyboard. So like, there's my C, is letter Z. Okay, and so I'm just going to use that bottom row of keys. Uh, this melody is going to use letters Z up to letter uh, B. And if we're talking musical notes, you can see that the musical note pops up here. So there's C. This is actually a D musical note. E, F, and G. Okay. If you accidentally close this by hitting that, you can just access that again by hitting the little keyboard icon right there, and it'll show back up. And if you click there and you happen to be in this thing called the piano roll, instrument is how you get back to that. We'll later be able to select different sounds right here, but we're going to stick with just the piano right now. The next thing is to consider is the tempo. Uh, if I scroll down here, here's the tempo. 120 beats per minute is a little bit fast to uh, begin recording the melody, so I'm going to reduce that down to about 90 beats per minute, and I'm going to make sure that that's on. If you click this gear option, you can see various metronome settings like the count in amount and what the uh, the sound is going to be so if you wanted a clave sound you can click there and if you wanted the volume you could click and drag that up to increase the volume of the click okay if you only wanted a one bar count in you could do uh, that one but i'm going to keep the two bars to really feel the beat before i start all right now the melody of this song is right here okay um, and I'm going to try to perform this melody in, uh, I'm an experienced music notation reader, so I, I'm not going to have too much trouble with it. Um, but uh, I'm going to create a document where I, I put in the typing letter names uh, to help you out. And I'm sure this is a song that you've heard before, so that may uh, help. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit record. And then I'll hit stop. Now let's save the recording up in the top. I can close up my piano and I can see my performance up here. Uh, one thing I'll suggest is that you quantize the rhythm, which is going to fix the rhythm, any small rhythmic discrepancies. Uh, if I hit the edit button right there, I can go down to quantize. And in this song, the smallest rhythm I played is the quarter note. So I'm going to quantize to the quarter note. If you had a song that had faster rhythms, chances are you may need to quantize to the eighth or possibly to the 16th, but most of the time uh, for very slow rhythm songs, quarter note, medium fast rhythms, eighth note, and very fast rhythm, 16th, and I rarely, if ever, use 30 seconds or 60 fourths, and then halves and holes, I don't use a ton either. So I'm gonna quantize that to the quarter note, and if I double click this region, I'll now view it in the piano roll, and I can even zoom in a little bit to see my notes. Okay, and now let's take one more listen, and you can see where all these notes are placed uh, in the piano roll notation. I'm actually going to turn my volume of my click down a little bit. It was pretty loud. And let's rewind it and play it.
All right, so now I have recorded my melody. I quantized it to the quarter note, and I'm looking at it in my piano roll, and I can see, uh, you know, that it starts, you know, uh, at bar one with the held note in bar two, and then my last note pretty much is ending by uh, the end of bar 16. I held into bar 17, but I can trim that. Now, if some of your notes weren't in the exact right place, or something sounded off, you could take a pitch, which would be like a note here, and just click it, and then if you need to scooch it over rhythmically, to the right or to the left, and then you can also change the pitch. So if you played a wrong note, you can just move it to where it's supposed to go. Okay. At this point, I've done some good work on here, and I'm going to hit Save. Okay, and I probably should change the name of the project. Saints go marching. And I'll save it as my last name. And I'll make sure I save that one more time. 